Good morning, church. It's day 847 of quarantine. On Easter Sunday, we celebrated Jesus' resurrection, how Christ is alive again and at work in the world, bringing new life to everyone. And I asked you, where do you see signs of his resurrection power at work? In other words, how has Jesus brought life to you again in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of all of the stress and anxiety and negativity that seems to prevail today? It's helpful for us to keep our minds set on the things that reveal Jesus to us. And trust me, Christ is alive and at work in so many ways. What brings me hope today is a reading from Luke 24, verses 13 through 35. It's called the walk to Emmaus, as two men walk from Jerusalem to a town called Emmaus, and they're talking about everything that happened between Good Friday and Easter Sunday. Jesus comes alongside and has a conversation with them. In fact, he walks with them the whole way to town, explaining to them the scriptures and how the Messiah was to die and rise again. He opened their eyes, but no more so than when they got to town, he broke bread and Suddenly, they saw that the whole time they were walking with Jesus. It encourages me because it reminds me that there are so many ways that Christ walks alongside us and draws us closer to him without us even realizing that's him. So how has Jesus been doing that for you in these days? For me, it makes me think of the folks in our congregation who work in the medical field. I think of Andy and Becky and Danielle and Whitney. I think of Sarah and Carrie and Steph. These people are EMTs and nurses and doctors and CSNs and lab techs and, and so many more things and there are so many more people I'm sure I'm forgetting. But they've given me hope today as they and so many others around the country and around the world are working on the front lines to literally keep us alive. So today, as I go through my routines and try not to get discouraged by the news, I'm going to think of them and how I see Christ at work through them. What about you? How has Jesus brought new life to you today? Let me know in the comments below, or you can email the church and let us know that, or go to our website, glassboromethodist.org, and click the Get Connected button. There's a field there where you can tell us just how Jesus has brought you life recently. Take care, stay safe, and I'll talk to you soon. God bless.